So what is a queue and how do you manage them? Let's take a look. This is how we do it. So to use queues, you have to have the role center active. Going to the home module will actually take you to the role center directly. If you only see the area page, you don't have the role centers active, so you have to talk to your IT department to get that active. And to add the queues and to use the queues, you have to add the web part in here. So we'll just click personalize this page. We'll click add a web part in any of these containers. We'll click on Microsoft Dynamics AX and queues and add that one. So now we have added the queue here or the web part, we can stop editing and we can continue to add or change these queues. We can add queue from any type of queue that's created. These are the ones that a product is shipped with. So let's just do my open cases, for instance. I'll just click OK. And here we are, we have one open case. So what are queues really? They're graphical representation of a query. So if you want to create a query yourself, you can go to any type of form in AX and do a filter and create a query or a queue based on that. So let's take a look. We'll do that for sales orders now. And I'll just create one for forest wholesales. Let's filter by the selection for forest wholesales. And let's only take the open orders. For these. Those are probably the most interesting. That's a subsection of this entire form, of course. And you can click up here to add or save as queue. This will take you to the save queue dialog. You can then call it something like open forest sales. And we can share with everyone or a specific role center profile. You have to have specific permission to do uh, everyone and specific profiles. So we create a open for sales. Yeah, let's just do okay for this. Going back to the role center now, it would automatically add it to the queue web part, which we've added here. If I just refresh this role center, I click F5, it will pop here, pop up here, and we'll see that we have open forest sales. And we can also add from a different type of form that was from a list page, which is a bit different because it has this, this filter special type of uh, menu up here. But if you go to any other type of form, Let's do open sales order lines. And if I go to, let's just filter down by television. To get into and save this as a queue, you have to go into the advanced filtering. You can do that by clicking control F3 or by going to file, edit, filter, and advanced filter sort. So that's control F3, that's the shortcut. Now, once we're in here, we get all the different types of uh, parameters for this filter for this query. I can click Modify, and I can click Save as Queue, and the same Save Queue dialog. So let's just open uh, Orders uh, tell. And you can also do a summary field. So now we're on the line level, so we can actually add a summary field. Let's do Sales Price. And we do that for personal, click OK, I'll cancel this, go back and go back to my role center and I can update this. And now we see that we have 38 open television orders of a sum of $92,240 for sales. That's very, very good self-service BI for anybody in your organization. And I really urge you to do and use this feature. Now, to manage these, you go to Organizational Administration, under Setup, Role Centers, and Edit Queues. And here you can see the two, uh, the two queues that we created during this demo. I'm urging you to take a look at this and use it. If you don't use this as a daily personal BI for AX 2012, you should go ahead and start right now because it's a really powerful, easy investment, low cost of training, and it's a lot of ROI, so go ahead, get into it. Did you know that you can attach a document to any type of record in it, even if you don't have this attachment button up here? I'll show you how. This is how we do it.